Hi everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today I wanted to bring you two super simple DIY rustic farmhouse inspired outdoor projects for spring and summer. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So here's an overview of the items that we're going to need for this DIY wreath project. I have a 14 inch grapevine wreath. I found that at Walmart, it was around $4. I have some various florals that I'm going to use. You don't need a ton because in this particular project, I'm only going up like one side. So you don't need too much. I found this high sign at Hobby Lobby. It was $8, I got it for 50% off, so $4. And I think the florals were total around, let's see, two, four, six, maybe six dollars because they were all on sale. Um, so 10, so about 14 dollars is what you can do this project for. I had this chalk paint. You don't have to paint this sign, but I just want it to be white. So I am going to chalk paint that white and then. I have some floral wire here. I'm not, I have to use something to attach the high sign to the wreath. I probably don't think I'm gonna use this. We actually have zip ties or something that might blend in a little bit better. But anyways, you just need some kind of wire or something to hold the high sign to the wreath. And you can use any kind of sign that you want. I used one that said hi. They have ones that say hello or welcome or whatever you find, home, you know, whatever you like. So anyways, these are the items that we're going to need. So I'm going to start off by chalk painting this sign. turned out I think it's so cute I love the colors that I have um, but again as a lot of my DIY projects are you can customize it to whatever you like so you know red flowers or you know anything that you like would be really pretty so I just like the simple where you can see a lot of the grapevine wreath kind of gives it that rustic look I like the little high sign I did end up painting I ended up switching out to that green floral wire so I just kind of dabbed the white paint on top of the wire so it didn't stick out quite so much because I'm just, 
you know, a little particular like that, but you probably wouldn't even have to. You really wouldn't see it from far away. So anyways, this was super simple to put together and I think it's cute and it's just kind of a little spin on a traditional regular wreath that you hang on the front door. Again, you can customize the saying to different things, even in the Target dollar spot. I think I saw ones that said like home or welcome or different little signs like that. So you probably could get them for three or $4. Again, this was only $4 anyways at Hobby Lobby with the 50% off. So next for the home sign that I'm going to be putting on my front porch, these are the items you're going to need. I have this long board from Home Depot and I will put the exact measurements in the description box. This, we had bought one board that was probably like 10 feet long, had them cut it to the sizes we need. So I was able to make a couple different signs out of it. And I, I wanna say it was $10 for the whole board and we got at least two or three signs out of it. But I'll put the exact measurements of this board in the description box. And then I think these are the eight inch letters from Walmart and I think they're $1.50, I'm not positive. Again, I'll, I'll put the total cost for the project uh, here on the screen. But anyways, um, I got the H, the M, and the E. And then for the, um, the O, I'm going to use this heart. And on the heart, I'm gonna be either putting, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these or if I'm gonna use these um, to decorate the heart with. I'm not sure yet which ones I'll use. So I wanted to get them both and I'll just return what I don't use. And then the colors I'm going to use is this black one. It's actually called plaid and then this mineral one. So I'm going to paint all the letters black and I'm gonna paint the board. I'm gonna do a quick coat of paint of black on the big board, but then I'm gonna go over it once it dries with the mineral paint and distress it. So it won't be black, it'll be like a, kind of like a tan with a dark distressing underneath. So let's get started. And then, and then I'm just going to be using hot glue, probably all weather hot glue for um, putting these on the heart. And then I'm gonna be using wood glue to attach the letters to the wood. Oh God, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her, but she won't feel the same for me. I've got this picture in my mind, it's just the two of us, just the two of us, but I know I have to try, try to let her go, because she won't I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's given me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close to try, try as hard as I can, cause she'll never be mine, I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks, she's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before, she will never know, that I love her so well, she's with somebody else and I will have to let her go. She 
here's how the home sign came out. I think it's very rustic looking and I found something, my inspiration for this was I was looking on Etsy and I found almost something similar and it was $35. I made this for probably around $17 total. So I think that's a pretty good savings. That's half the price of what I found it for on Etsy. It looks very similar. Uh, so I'm really happy with it and I think that it's neutral so I can put it outside in the spring. This can stay out throughout the summer and it could even stay out in the fall if I wanted it to although I probably I have other ones that I've made that I put outside or I'll probably make a new one for the fall. But I'm really happy with how this turned out and um, so you know like I said I think for $17 it was a huge savings compared to what I found almost identical for online. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you a couple different ideas of some outdoor decor that you could make for your front porch, back porch, wherever you want. And thank you guys so much for watching. I have another video outdoor DIY video coming up probably this week. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.